All right. Well, good afternoon, every pony, and uh, welcome to the voice versatility Q and A panel. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Silver Eagle from Ponyville Live. And I'm joined by three excellent guests today. We have uh, three of the finest voice actors in all of voice acting here next to me. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have no Tabitha. pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. But they're absolutely awesome, uh, and we're very happy to have them here. We have uh, Tabitha St. Germain. Hello, dearies. How is everybody out there? <laughs> uh, T. St. G. Uh, T. St. G. does the uh, voices of uh, Rarity and Luna, among others, among many others. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, up next, we have Andrea Lipman. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> Andrea does the uh, voices of Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. And then, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then next to her, we have Vincent Tong. Hello, Vincent. Hi. And Vincent does the voice of uh, 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 Flash Sentry. Is that right? Yeah. Or, or Brad. Some Brad. Yo. Cool. Well, uh, really quickly before we start the Q&A session, if you all uh, would like to do a little bit of just introduction about yourselves, how you found yourselves in the world of voice acting and, uh, and what your experience has been so far, um, and just, you know, tell the crowd a little bit about uh, how you got started. When I was a young <laughs> I found the power of opening my mouth to break light bulbs. <laughs> this pleased me. <laughs> I continue to crawl into the ears of the small and unsuspecting <laughs> and ruin their tiny brains. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was born, <laughs> they put a microphone in my crib. The end. The end. Uh, I first started um, doing the voice acting for people. Uh, uh, it, was, it was a fun time, but you know, they don't really like it that much. So I worked really, really hard to try to be better and be, uh, the, to be more awesome. Then I was like, holy cow, look at me, I can talk. All right, I got some jobs. Woo! That is awesome. So, uh, so from everyone in the crowd, first things first, what is your favorite part about Brony Can so far? You guys. You guys rock! Woo! That's right, that's right. And second, the face paint. The, fa <laughs> the face paint. I see a couple of people with second. animals and such painted on their faces. That's pretty cool. I like the guy who saved us from death on a panel this morning. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Dustin. Dustin. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, uh, uh, we are going to uh, dedicate most of this panel here to answering uh, questions from the audience because it is, after all, voice versatility Q and A. Uh, so, uh, if you'd like, if anybody has a question here, I believe we have a microphone right here in the front. Uh, it's just sort of sitting out there, all lonely, and it needs company. So if anybody who has any questions would please approach, form a nice orderly single file line in the middle. Right here. Right where? Right here, right now. Right there. If anybody has any questions, just step on Yay. Come on. Yeah. We got a lot of questions, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is to Tabitha. I'm just wondering, uh, what's your favorite character to voice? Is it Rarity or is it Luna or someone else? <laughs> My favorite character to voice is always the new next one. Mm -hmm. It is. But I do like Rarity because I get to have a hissy fit. <laughs> 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 Left, right, and center. Get my eye is, is Rarity the closest match to your personality? Not even no. remotely. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, uh, so what's the most, like, uh, this is for all three of you, 
what's like the most unique voice or like the most interesting voice you've had to do for a character? It's so like something that's really outside the box, something you wouldn't imagine you would have had to have uh, voiced. Vincent Tong. You voiced me? Yeah. Oh. I was a Vincent Tong for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good. It took me so long to get my job back. That's so good. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's see, I don't know. Uh, there was one I had to like speak like this for a uh, for a show that Tabitha and I are working on. We can talk about this, right? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just talk about it anyway. It's uh, it's called the Nerds and Monsters. It's gonna be on YTV, and uh, I played a little nerd uh, along with Tabitha. She was a few nerds. I'm a couple of nerds. Yeah, so. Because I'm so not nerdy in real life, right? So I did like do a lot of research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I play five-year-old girls. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> All right. So this for Vincent. So yeah. since you play Flash, Flash Sentry, have you had any Twilight fans fangirling over you? Uh oh. Uh, you know you, what? You stole their waifu. I know. I. <laughs> <laughs> I stole them. I don't know. <laughs> Man, it's 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 weird because I didn't I didn't know about all this stuff until you know I was like okay, Brony can I've got to like really do my research. Until and, yesterday. Yeah, until <laughs> yesterday. Until yesterday. I got a few punches in the face. No. Um, <laughs> With awesomeness. Yes. I was like Psh, awesome. <laughs> um, it was uh it was cool, man. Um, you know. I, I was researching it before I saw the movie and seeing people's reaction to the character. I was excited for this movie to come out because I felt like you know it was a cool part for me personally to to be a part of, and uh, and then I was like, whoa, there's like some haters out there that's hating on this character. Hope not me personally, but you know, but no, you know, no, no. T t to each his own, and and whatever it is, it is. I mean, I I enjoyed playing the part of Flash, and um, yeah, and uh, I think it's a cool. It's it's very different than 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 uh, friendship is magic, of course. So it's going to be a different storyline, different ideas and topics to talk about. So I had fun. Let's just say that. Yeah, for and, sure. You know, whatever and happens, happens. Couple of important things. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Hey. Hey. Tomatoes gonna tomate. Tomate. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And also, for for as much internet chatter as there was about Equestria Girls, mm -hmm. everyone got really quiet in the theaters when they found out it was pretty much a good movie. Yeah, yeah you know? Was yeah. All right. And then they enjoyed it. Yeah. So, have you seen a good positive response today? Everybody's being nice? Yeah, everyone's been really nice. Everyone, you know, I shake their hands. They're kind of glaring at me like, we're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how do you know where I live? <laughs> no, but it's, it's been great. I've been very happy, so... Yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, this is a question for all three of you. Um, whoops. You're going to be assertive with the mic. Microphone adjustments. Get the mic text. Okay. Um, I'm an aspiring voice actor. I'm taking classes. I'm working on some characters right now. There we go. <laughs> I'd like to be able to do what you guys do, but not your voices because they're your voices, right? Right. But I'm just wondering are, what are some tips you guys have for aspiring voice actors that are trying to get out in the world right now? Andrea? <laughs> <laughs> Me? So you didn't have a microphone in your crib? <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Did you want me to answer? Sure. Well, um, I always say to people to, to take classes, obviously. Um, but not only classes in voiceover, classes of, in acting in general theater classes, other stuff like that. But also, everybody's got all the equipment on their phones, even, in their computers, so just practice and put it online and, uh, and um, make a lot of noise. And, um, is that good? Yeah, do workshops, yeah. but then I think, like, you know, once you've, you've, you've sort of honed your crap to, to get that demo, I think the demo is like the all important thing to get started. You have to get that voiceover demo, whether it be an animation demo, make a separate one for commercials, narration one if possible, and then you have, to, you have to send this stuff out and do the legwork and really work hard to get an agent to represent you in order to uh, get those auditions eventually. Yeah. 
Now, now you all, uh, and, and keep in mind, you know, voice acting not the only way to get into this sort of uh, art, art form, right? Is a lot of you are also from uh, theater. Yeah. I believe you have a background in theater, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, and so that's that's one way of getting started, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank so, you, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, yes, good afternoon. Hi. Hi, so I, I perceive, as you notice that, uh, yes, my question here actually is that uh, I know that for a uh, number of uh, you and your cohorts that have worked on the TV show, I've noticed that you've been working on the industry or in the voice acting industry for a number of years, going back to the days when, uh, I guess, the animated series were more so on uh, conventional television stations, and then I guess I'll make note that it's, we're actually just a few, a few days away from the 25th anniversary of the launch of YTV. And I guess uh, the question is, with the shift now to work from conventional TV to specialty uh, cable channels and the plethora of those and the expansion of the internet and content there, I'm wondering if you've seen more opportunities in your field of work in voice artistry. And I, I guess to elaborate on that, is that more opportunities for more people or do you think it's more opportunities for what I would guess would be elitists like yourselves? <laughs> <laughs> elitists! Elitists we are like elitists, yourselves. <laughs> Yes, the one percent of the voice acting world, well, right here. We certainly can't do everything that's out there, and there are whole channels now. I mean, when I was a child, we 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 used to carve on rocks, and <laughs> uh, but you know, there, there wasn't there weren't whole channels, and I mean, Vincent and uh, Andrea and I can't do all the roles. Sure. <laughs> But you, we do have to take a day off, right? Now, now have you seen your, your opportunities, though, uh, expand yes. with, with the fact that now, you know, the, yeah. the barrier to entry for creating new shows is a lot lower than having to form your own. I mean, there are these entire cartoon dedicated channels. Yeah. You know, and, and internet videos. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. More opportunities, I think, for everybody. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for your question. Hi. So if you could give... Uh, the characters you voiced, any common human name, what would that name be? Oh, <laughs> well, I've never had that question. That's, yeah. That's, I think you, I think you just won the gravy boat. Oh! Yes! Wow. Yes! Most original question. Most original question. <laughs> if you could give your character a human name, well, I mean, yours is kind of already... Uh, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brad. I think like Prince Blue Blood would maybe be like Eugene or something. <laughs> yeah, like he's not really that cool. He just thinks he is. Yeah. I don't know. Jo Donut Joe would probably be Donut Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Garble. I don't know. Yeah. Dragon guy. I'm not very creative. Pinkie Pie. Uh, like Tiffany. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And Fluttershy. Shy. Joan. Joe. Joe. Is that what Joan. you said? Oh, Joe. Joe. Oh, okay. It's just Joan. Oh, June. Um, well, you know, for Equestria Joe. Girls, they actually gave you human names. It was kind of a running joke. Was that uh, that like Fluttershy was Faith Summers and all of this? Like they created these human names, and then the rumor was going around that uh, that was what their names would be in Equestria oh, Girls, and oh. that they were actually, and that it was gonna turn the whole thing upside down. Oh, I didn't know. Um, and some of the names were kinda nice, like, I thought Faith Summers was a nice name. Like, that would have been a, a fitting So what name. was Rarity's name? I have, I, I don't know? remember what it was. Pinkie Pie was like. Maybe something like Clarissa. It, or it like was, Elizabethina. It was, it was fancy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fancy, yeah. Well, Not to offend anyone whose name is Eugene, though. Great question. No, really it's quickly, Eugene's before, name. before the next question, we have uh, a couple of surprise additional guests Yay! here joining us today. We have some of the some more voice actors, the actresses in this case, and, and we have an infestation. So, if you'll please join me in welcoming uh, uh, Clara Corlett, uh, the voice of uh, Sweetie Belle, Yay! to this day. Okay, Rebecca Shoykat, uh, the uh, uh, the voice of Sunset Shimmer and uh, the singing voice of Twilight Sparkle. Is that correct? That's right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Sorry, we were super hungry. That's we had okay. to eat some food. Lunchy munchies. All right. 
So we're just we're right in the middle of our Q and A session, and so now you have more people to ask the Qs to you. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay. All right. Well, this is a question for Andrea here, uh, which now just seems a lot more appropriate now that Claire's here to help along. <laughs> Oh yeah, as a former child actress yourself, uh, what advice do you have for your younger co-stars? Well, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't need any advice because she's so awesome. She doesn't need me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Please, Tabitha, can you, for the fans of Luna, can you please do the Royal Canterlot voice and the fun has been doubled. <laughs> <laughs> the night will last forever! <laughs> 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 what you're saying? She says every time I do that voice, it's different. <laughs> it's not you. No, I know. <laughs> it's not you. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you very much for bringing your talent to MLP and bringing it to life in only a way that you guys can. It's really awesome, and you really helped make the show what it is. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I have a few questions for a few of you guys. Um, Tabitha, you're pretty crazy almost all the time. How do you not go completely <laughs> insane? How do you not go completely insane and everyone who acts with you? How do you not go insane just being around Tabitha all the time? <laughs> it's a good crazy. I was going to say, yeah, it's a good, it, it's, it's fun. Thank you. It's not crazy from in here. It seems really normal <laughs> when you're in here. It's not uh, crazy from in here. But for actual, in a, in a really honest way, um, for stressors and stuff like that in my life. I do meditate, I meditate every day. And that that That's does cool. keep me from being like that. <laughs> it's a really good crazy, don't get me wrong. And uh, Claire, I was just wondering, um, now that you're finally getting the Sweetie Belle singing voice, what process did you go through to get that? Did you just say, okay, I'm ready, I can do this? I was going to say, you know, now you did have to audition for the voice as if it were a separate part, right? Well, it's very complicated. There's not even a lot of Okay, all right, all right. Sorry, I didn't know it was going on Uncharted Ground there. <laughs> all right. I'm happy. Yes. We're all yes. happy. We are all happy. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. This officially means starting in season four, the Cutie Mark Crusaders will all be singing for themselves. So that's the whole bunch. We got pie. We got, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have pie. And, and they're the bringing pie. it up here. Amazing. There's pie. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Pie. Thank you. For, thank you for Granny, Granny, Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Smith. Oh. Pitch pie. Okay. Pitch Strawberry rhubarb. Yeah. It smells good. <laughs> Anyone got a bald mane? <laughs> What's in this one? Is this hand pie? Hand pie? Good. No. Good. It's pinky pie flavor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Sorry, <laughs> uh, This is for all of you. What is your favorite part about being a voice actor? I like not having to wait in my trailer for my time on camera. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. I like hanging out with these guys. <laughs> yeah. Seriously though, it's like, it's awesome. Yeah, I, no, seriously. Okay. Not <laughs> seriously. Uh, no, for me it's, 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 it's like a dream come true to be a voice actor, to be a cartoon character. Because I always wanted to be a cartoon character as a kid, so this is, you know, really, I, I feel very, very blessed to do what I do every single day. Yeah. I like not having to memorize lines because I have experienced <laughs> that before, and I always it's a little bit of stress on your shoulders. I don't like memorizing lines. I also like um, just all the different personas that you can like take on with all these characters. It's just fun. It could be other things. 
I always liked not going to school, too. I was a well, huge bonus. I really do like school. Oh, you do? I have to admit, I love school. Nerd. So I actually don't to each their to own. <laughs> stay on the school, yes. Yeah, stay at school. Well, Rebecca. And Rebecca, I like, yes. I like acting with all the other actors because I just I learn so much from them, and they're so funny and fun and awesome. Aww. Funny and fun and awesome. Funny yeah. and fun. Oh, Thank and you. sorry, I want to refer back to that other question about acting with Tabitha because she's so crazy but you know what <laughs> Tabitha's keeping it real like she she reminds me she, and when I'm in the studio with Tabitha I feel really grounded and I do <laughs> and inspired Thank you. Aww. 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 don't cry <laughs> awesome. I guess this is a question for Tabitha um, being as the um, art the uh, Great anarch of the Apple family. Um, how did that? <laughs> how did that eventually start? Um, you voicing her, and uh, where where do you get your wisdom to play such a wiz, a very wise character? Oh, yes, this well, is the, the elder <laughs> character. Yeah. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, well, now I call it play no horse <laughs> Now, where does that accent come from? I don't know. It's, oh, it comes from, <laughs> comes from within. Inside of her. Yes. <laughs> and I guess just one more. Um, you and uh, Claire play Rarity and Sweetie Belle. Oh, is, sister, when you yeah. guys are voicing each other or having a talk, is it actually like a sister bond, or is it more of just a um, voice to voice? Do you want to ask me, Claire? Um, I think it's a little bit of both. Because I've known Tabitha for a really, really long time, and uh, my dad kind of just introduced me to you, and ever since, like, everything I do, I feel like I see you always there. Yeah. So we kind of already have that bond, but it's it's really fun to be, like, siblings with someone. But is it more like a stalker? Like, she's always there? <laughs> Everywhere I go, She follows you're me to there. every audition and every session. When I'm at Tim Hortons, That's you're there. That's a different thing. <laughs> Guys, I'll just make a comment. I do notice when it's in Sister Who's so, so I do feel the sister bond when you two are talking as your characters. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd just mention that. You feel the role well. Thank Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> I like the outfit. This is a question for Andrea. Um, I was wondering, what is your favorite part about voice acting Fluttershy? Um. My favorite part is that I think it's the type of character that doesn't often exist in the cartoon world because um, it's hard to get that type of voice across. Like cartoons are always really putting out a lot of energy. They're out there. They're more like Pinkie Pie. So I really love um, being able to do that really shy voice. And you know they have to. It's a nightmare for the engineer to have to do the volume <laughs> for the mic. But I, it's special because it's different. I don't think there's a lot of characters like that. So mm -hmm. that's my yeah. favorite part. Uh, and you look so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you look and, um, Can you say I'm Batman again? Um, I'm Batman. <laughs> What do you want for breakfast, Fluttershy? Justice. <laughs> um, watch out, Ben Affleck. <laughs> if Twilight, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy got to Granny Smith's age, what would they sound like? Oh, if only you had two of those. Please earn them. My little pony, <laughs> my little pony. <laughs> you know when you're in choir or in church and there's always somebody who's got the more <laughs> It would turn into an opera. So, like, season 10 will be an opera number. It'll yep. just be. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Elderly Sweetie Belle. <laughs> Elder, elderly Rarity? Elderly Rarity. I remember when I was young. I was so pretty. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello again, and uh, and Vincent and Claire, very nice to meet you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. You're welcome. And this question is for Andrea. Um, I saw in some sources that uh, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you and Shannon split uh, split singing duty with Pinkie Pie. Um, I probably missed something, I didn't look deep enough into it, but which songs do you sing for Pinkie Pie, and which song does mm. songs do Shannon sing for Pinkie Pie? I don't have it memorized. Okay, yeah. oh, that's fine, that's fine, uh, I was just asking. And, uh, and uh, how, how do uh, Daniel or whoever determine who are you? Who, who you or Which Shannon? Which of the sing? two? Does That'd be a question for him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do, do, do just decide you or you would sing him. So, so okay. He's like mm -hmm. the great okay. power okay. Okay. <laughs> It's probably a good sign if it's not immediately okay, obvious whose thank singing you. voice is which that that you guys match pretty well. Okay. This is a question for Tabitha. Hello. Can you do the derpy voice? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is a question for all of you. Um, do the writers, uh, do they change how they write your characters based on your actual personality? Because it seems to me that some of your characters have changed a little bit over the seasons. Do they adapt to fit your personality? No way. <laughs> well, specifically with Claire, I noticed that Sweetie Belle seems a lot stranger than she did in the first season. What are you trying to say here? Yeah. What are you trying what to say? Are you trying to... All, all positive. I, I don't know. I think maybe they have, but once again, that's, I think that's a, que a question you, you would have to ask the writers because we don't write it, but yeah. I'm sure that there's a possibility that they would probably base it off of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. We're on a roll here. <laughs> oh my God. This is for everybody. Um, how does it, the impact of the show, like, you know, feel on you guys? Like, everywhere I go, there's, like, brony stuff. Like, everybody's got <laughs> backpacks of Pinkie Pie or... My house is full of it. <laughs> well, everywhere you go in this room, there's yeah, like pony. The top yeah. floor of my daycare, sure. ponies, basement, ponies. So I just wanted to know <laughs> how that impacted you, like with and with everybody here and stuff. So this show is, is rather unique in that, right? In that, in that you actually have a fan following that would identify you out in in the wild, right? Is this is this is this a unique thing, or have you worked on other shows that have also had similar uh, uh, large fan bases? Before. I've worked on shows that have large fan bases of five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and scene. And scene. So this is a one of a kind. No, yeah, it's yeah. To it's one of a kind, and it's awesome. Like it's so incredible. Um, I feel so lucky to work on the show, and so lucky to be able to interact with all of you and hear your stories and talk to you. It's it's. Awesome, it's the best. So thank you for being so great. It's starting to feel normal. Oh. <laughs> it's really well, especially now that it's here. Yeah. It's here at home. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hey there, so <clears throat> just wondering that since you're voice actors, I wonder if there's any lifestyle changes that you may have made just to protect your voices. Oh. Do you, are there any lifestyle changes that you make in order to protect your voice? Like, do you avoid eating or drinking certain things that are going to be hard on your voice before you go in? Or? I avoid cigarettes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing to avoid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really don't, like, I have to wash my voice a lot. 
because uh, some sort of acid reflux sometimes you get if you're like mm. screaming too much or eating really late. I do a lot of theater as well. So when I was doing theater, you get home at like 11 o'clock at night, you have a second dinner at like one, and then you have to do a voice gig in the morning. It's not the best thing, but I'm probably the only person that's like on my motorcycle driving to a, a voice gig going <laughs> doing my vocal warm-ups. But, um, but yeah, awesome. vocal warm-ups are important. Well, um, my voice is uh, kind of like Iron Man. Uh, I don't know why, but I've never lost my voice. Yeah. Maybe that's just because like of like being at a youth age, like I'm screaming and stuff. Like if I go to a concert or something, like I just never lose my voice, which is really weird. So Wait I'd, for it, Philly. I just <laughs> I just try and drink lots of water during the sessions and after and but yeah, other than that, it's there's nothing really special. Even with all that smoking and drinking? <laughs> It's, it's, it's hard, but yeah, yeah. it doesn't affect, That's it doesn't amazing, affect anything. Really. Such a yeah, reckless yeah. lifestyle. Thank you. Oh, okay. oh we're I, yes, I, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, me. Sorry. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, we're kind of <laughs> seated. We're seated funny. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, lifestyle changes. Um, I, uh, I, tr- I actually went, I went to a, a party. Um, it was a reunion, like a high school reunion just recently. And I didn't realize that talking for seven hours straight in a really loud room um, with lots of like when it's really really hot, I actually lost my voice for a really for the first yeah. time in many many years because I wasn't conscious of it. I wasn't thinking oh I'm working right now or, so I was working on my vocal health. Mm-hmm. I was just yelling, and uh, and so so yeah. I just I I find that I don't go out to lo- loud social events, hmm. and uh, with that as sort of like a spring, <laughs> I'm sort of like wow, this is what I don't do, and I, I guess this is why. Yeah, so, so when you're in the studio, though, you're taking very good care of your voices, though. You have, like, bottled water next to you. Oh, yeah. 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 And taking breaks when you need. Like, if you're playing mm-hmm. a really shouty character, mm-hmm. you have to let, the, you know, let them know, okay, I need to do the shouty bits last, yeah. or whatever, that kind yeah. of stuff. I stopped going to my yodeling classes. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay, this one's for Andrea. Can you please say, hey, 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 stay out of my oh, shed no. in Fluttershy's voice? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done it before, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, lots of times. Um, hey, 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 stay out of my shed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was expecting for you to say this is a right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's bad or something. I don't know. Not that bad. Yeah. 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 So uh, this is a question for all of you. I noticed when uh, Equestria, when everybody first learned about Equestria Girls, there was a lot of uh, negativity and a lot of people saying, you know, oh my God, it's the end of the fandom and stuff. Uh, <laughs> the sky is falling. I was so wondering on. what were all your guys' initial reactions to Equestria Girls and the concept of humanized ponies? Oh. I was just curious to how they were going to look. Yeah. Because, you know, when we voice it, we don't see, we, we, you know, we don't, we didn't have any idea of how they might look. So I was just, I was excited to see the movie because we just do the work without any visual. We just act it from our own perspective. So I was excited to see what they might look like. And their legs are long. They are. are Longer than mine. But it's a good story. It was a good script. So Mm -hmm. I, I never, I was really surprised when uh, people were, got their backs up. Um, cause we, I kind of, we knew it was going to be good. It's great. It's the same writers, great writers, great, um, animation, great artists, great music. All the reasons great. we like the great, show. Great, 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 great. So <laughs> I'm really proud of it. I don't know if you can tell. It's great. <laughs> me too. Don't hate great. me. Please don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> really nice guy. <laughs> I don't remember it at all. <laughs> All right, so my question was, I know some of you, this is your first convention, pony-wise. What is your favorite part of any convention you've been to, pony-wise? Your favorite experience? Now, Andrea, this is your first convention, right? (laughs) I'm addicted. (laughs) (laughs) Favorite part of any convention, yeah. Well, being that this is my first, my favorite part of this convention has been meeting you guys Mm -hmm. and getting to hear your stories and 
seeing some of the art that you guys have created, it's mind blowing, really incredible and inspiring. So that's been my favorite part. Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've said this so many times. It's it's meeting you guys and seeing seeing all these faces that I can put to Twitter names now. But uh, <laughs> but also also my gosh, I played Mario Party with four other <laughs> artists yesterday, and there was a whole room of bronies screaming when Princess Peach won the. Won the thing, so Were yeah, you that was me. You? I won. Well, I didn't get first prize, but I won that little game. No. So that was like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I do this at home, and no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, this is my second convention, and uh, I really love it. I love everything about it, but um, I would say probably meeting you guys again is like my favorite part of these conventions. Conventions, just seeing what's behind the TV screen, who's actually watching these things mm -hmm. and loving it. And when you guys come to me with like inside jokes like about my YouTube channel, like I always smile <laughs> about that. It's, it's just fun, it's just fun, so yeah. Very good, thank, thank you. Thank you, thanks. Hey, this is a question for everyone. Um, yep. Of all the voices uh, don't voice act in MLP, which ones would you like to if you could? Um, this you know, is a fairly also, common question. Yeah. Isn't it? Is if you, yeah. could, you could also open up to uh, like other series as well. Like, what uh, voices would you have liked to have done if you ever had the opportunity? In any other animated or other voice acting roles? I, it's. I think it's an especially tricky question because I, we audition so much that. Like, I try not to think about that, otherwise I would go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and I just try and really appreciate the roles that I do have um, and be happy with that. So I know that's a lame-o answer, but it's Andrea. a true You're answer. <laughs> I find, too, that when, when, you, when you receive a script, it's somebody else's art, right? It's like, it's somebody else's writing. And so when I see that script, that's when the characters become created within me. So I sort of create the character out of that that writing. So it's kind of more of a more of a spur of the moment kind of experience for me. And for me, I, I do a lot of uh, my my own voices, my, my own voice for a lot of my characters, which is kind of like you know it's fun, but. Whoa, and you have a voice of gold. Oh, there's someone here. <laughs> I was gonna say we have a guest. Oh, please, we have please. a lurk. Security. Someone lurking in our midst. <laughs> Just say, the strange thing about that question for me, besides the infestation that's happening, it's an infestation of actors. <laughs> um, Do not it's a bit deny. like asking, whose husband would you like to marry? Uh... You know, there's a little bit of that. If somebody's already done the role, then they have a sort of a proprietary, I, it's theirs. Yeah. So yeah. ask me what other, non-belonging to somebody else roles. Like what types of roles would you like to it's play, true, I suppose. But, you know. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Jen. Sure. And then we're out here and I want to do Big Mac's voice because it's so, it's, I only have to say two words. Long, but I wanted to come and say hello because I love you guys. Aww. Aww. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hi. Wow. It's such an honor to be in front of you all. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for your time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I doubt that. 
Hi, Mike. <laughs> uh, see, I have a question for you. Um, since you play like a million characters in this series, um, it's just, you know, you play the old, the elderly, and the powerful, and the fabulous, you know? I'm just, I'm just wondering. Well if, said. <laughs> yeah, well said. The old lady, the powerful, and the Ladies fabulous. Ladies and gentlemen, the stylings of Maurizio. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me now. <laughs> I'm just wondering, um, do you ever feel overwhelmed by playing so many characters in just one series? Like, hmm. It's not just one series. <laughs> Actually. Well, I mean, specifically in this one, really. It's so many in so many series. Because she's so super, super talented. Oh, stop. We have an hour and a half to simply quit. Oh, an hour? (laughs) (laughs) We're all vying for the position of her PR agent. (laughs) (laughs) Do you you find yourself in the same scene, though? Like, switching voices? That that has happened. And, I mean, it's nice when you can switch your room and be all kind of, oh, I just flipped from this to this. (laughs) But sometimes I do have to, like in Nerds and Monsters, oftentimes, because the characters are both um, nerdy, you know, so it's some of the same gear. So sometimes I have to do all of one and then all of the other. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I do. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You give them to you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, you, you do your. <laughs> oh, can I <laughs> um, Question for Andrea. What was your experience like to voice Sim Pal Cindy in The Sixth Day? Uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! Do you guys know what that is? No. Nope. Tell us about it. It's a movie with... Arnold Arnie. Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger and me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, except I'm just this creepy doll. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm so confused. Yeah, it's so creepy. You gotta watch it. (laughs) That better be on your reel. (laughs) I don't have a reel. (laughs) It's just like since you normally voice like for kids in animation, what it was like to just switch to something like serious and more adult oriented. Fun because it's different. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. fun to be able to do that because, like, exactly how you said, I don't get to do it very often. So when I do, I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All right, so uh, just as a heads up, we have about 10 minutes left uh, on the panel here. So we're just going to get a couple more questions. But, uh, yeah, we'll try to go through the questions as quickly as possible here. So. Uh, this is a question for everybody. everybody. Uh, what was your favorite moment from working on the show or working in Equestria Girls? So far. Working so far. together. <laughs> we like working together. All of our awesome. Who co-workers. said that? <laughs> what? She's a ventriloquist. Well, we're there. That's a good question. I don't know. I forget things. The second half they happen often. So, uh, Generally, the feeling when I look back, or I don't really look back because I can't see, but when I feel back, it's quite positive. Uh, then I think it was probably pretty good. And if it's a bit, then it probably wasn't. And I think it was quite good. Although I don't recall Equestrian Girls at all. So I think it probably suffered from a terrible lack of me. Oh, Lee, are you doing that again? Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm stomach acting. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not a very no, good answer. <laughs> uh, for me, it was uh, working. I, I, I didn't record with the girls. It was just me and the guys recording in the room. Yeah. And I had Peter New standing right beside me, staring at me the whole time. <laughs> when I was trying to do my lines, it was extremely difficult. We did maybe one good take because uh-huh. I was laughing through the whole thing. He just was like, <laughs> <laughs> I could barely do it. So that was fun. Okay. Captain Feedback. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't have a favorite moment. It, all of it's great. Now, my memory is better than yours. Yes. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Wait maybe. for it, Philly! <laughs> No, 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 but I really, I really, I really enjoy everything that I can remember. <laughs> I can remember. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. 
Is this more of a comment? Alex Apley, ladies and gentlemen. Alex. Hello. 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 Alex is one of my students, and he's twice now come up. And what was it that you participated in that this, during this convention? I uh, went to the costume contest, the yeah. karaoke contest, and uh, Ponyville Idol. And, and uh, he came up to me and apologized as one of my students for not succeeding in, in some of you not winning. And I told him twice, it doesn't matter. Well, the only people that don't succeed are those that don't try. So a big round of applause for Alex yeah. Anyways, uh, this is more of a comment than a question. I just wanted to tell. <laughs> I just wanted to say that this show means a lot. Sorry. You're doing it to mine now. Sorry, I didn't do it. I'm sorry, Alex. Go ahead, please. Sorry, Alex. Okay, sorry. I was wrestling yeah, no, my mic cable. It's got to It became demonically possessed. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if I turn off my pacemaker, it might work out. All right, all right, all right. We're getting, we're okay. We're getting you feedback were, from he had a really people. tender question, yeah, so, so it's... Uh, I know, I'm so maybe we'll wait I for a totally second. I'm here for you. I totally am. Alex, okay. 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 The, <laughs> I know. Here, the important okay, thing is that you got up to the podium okay. to Alex, ask the question. Alex, Focus what is, five. I could, I could, Alex, I what's your question? It's more of a comment than a question. I just want to know, to tell you that... This whole thing, this whole, everything you do, it means so much to us, oh. especially him. <laughs> <laughs> Even saved several lives in, in the show. I just want to say thank you for everything. My goodness. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Alex Atley, and with that, with that, I am I'm going to I'm going to bow out because I've got to check out soon, and I wanted to say thank you for letting me. Um, Totally bust open the party and no, and, no thank and you for crash the party us, and I love you all and, and thank you and I I got my fan built thing right after this so I've got to check out and then I'm coming back here so if you want to stick around for that please that's be great and everybody the rest of the cast bye bye <laughs> thank you again Lee Tokar we will be back here in just a moment for the fan build panel right after this. All right, so we got uh, just enough time for just uh, about two more questions. Two more questions, yes. What's your question, sir? A question for Andrea and Tabitha. What dictates which character begins a scene? Like, uh, does Tara Strong record her lines first and you would reply to them, or who starts? You gotta pull it out of thin air. Someone we does. never hear her, so I don't oh, know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we no. just, um, somebody will read in for her. Sometimes, yes, sometimes we just skip over them. We don't listen t uh, to each other, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Under any circumstances. Ever, even, even with you two? You, you never hear each other? Oh, we no, do. We, yeah. The oh. rest, yeah. We just don't hear Tara. Oh. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. I remember being so confused. Uh, hey. Yeah, because when think. people come um, in, we, don't, we I, never I, tell I, them. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're jerks. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. um, I, I've heard that when you're coming into a new role as a voice actor, you're not often given too many details about the character you may be playing. Um, I was just wondering, when you're first going into a character, do you ever find there be like a disconnect between the voice you've given them and when you actually see it in the show or whatever you may be doing, a, a difference there of how you imagined it to how it actually is? Hmm. Almost always. Really? Mm, yeah. So once you see the final animated product, you go, oh, I, I would have done that maybe a little differently. Well, nobody's imagination is like yeah. your yeah, imagination. Perfect. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. It's it's like reading nobody a book, gets you inside your it. head and you can't yeah. get inside mm -hmm. their head. So I'm always surprised when I get a role. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Come like, on. Not getting a role. Yeah. I am always surprised. No. <laughs> not because I think I'm rotten. Just We're not, not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks. you. All right. Well, uh, let's give one last round of applause here. Yes, for our our uh, fantastic talent here. Um, thank you to all of them for taking some time uh, to come over here to Brony Can and to uh, to meet with uh, the adoring fans and uh, answer their questions and everything. So thank you all very much uh, for joining us. Uh, up next in this room, we have the uh, fan built panel. Um,
coming up right after this. Uh, but yeah, if you all have any, thank you. you all have any last, thanks thank for you, coming, you guys. Talk, anything you want to say? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, folks. Thanks for coming. You're all fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love you. Woo. Character to voice, is it Rarity or is it Luna or someone else? <laughs> My favorite character to voice is always the new next one. Mm -hmm. It is. But I do like Rarity because. I get to have a hissy fit. <laughs> <laughs> Left, right, and center. Get my eye is, is Rarity the closest match to your personality? Not even no. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, so what's the most, like, uh, this is for all three of you, what's, like, the most unique voice or, like, the most interesting voice you've had to do for a character? It's so like something that's really outside the box, something you wouldn't imagine you would have had to have uh, voiced. Vincent Tong. You voiced me? Yeah. Oh. I was a Vincent Tong for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they said to me, you're not allowed to speak in the accent. It's not very good. It took me so long to get my job back. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> the face paint. I see a couple of people with Second. animals and such painted on their faces. That's pretty cool. I like the guy who saved us from death on a panel this morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, uh, uh, we are going to uh, dedicate most of this panel here to answering uh, questions from the audience because it is, after all, voice versatility Q&A. Uh, so, uh, if you'd like, if anybody has a question here, I believe we have a microphone right here in the front. Uh, it's just sort of sitting out there all lonely, and it needs company. So if anybody who has any questions would please approach, form a nice orderly single file line in the middle. Right here. Right where? Right here, right now. Right there. If anybody has any questions, just step on Yay. Come on. Yeah. We got a lot of questions, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is to Tabitha. I'm just wondering, uh, what's your favorite character? <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was born, <laughs> they put a microphone in my crib. The end. <laughs> the end. Uh, I first started doing the voice acting for people. Uh, uh, it, was, it was a fun time, but you know, they don't really like it that much. So I worked really, really hard to try to be better and be, uh, the, to be more awesome. Then I was like, holy cow, look at me, I can talk. All right, I got some jobs. Woo! That is awesome. So, uh, so from everyone in the crowd, first things first, what is your favorite part about Brony Can so far? You guys. You guys rock! Woo! That's right, that's right. And second, the face paint. The fa Hi, and Fluttershy. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then next to her, we have Vincent Tong. Hello, Vincent. Hi. And Vincent does the voice of uh, 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 Flash Sentry. Is that right? Yeah. Or, or Brad. Some Brad. Yo. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, really quickly before we start the Q&A session, if you all uh, would like to do a little bit of just introduction about yourselves, how you found yourselves in the world of voice acting and, uh, and what your experience has been so far. Um, and just, you know, tell the crowd a little bit about uh, how you got started. When I was a young <laughs> I found the power of opening my mouth to break light bulbs. <laughs> this pleased me. <laughs> I continued to crawl into the ears of the small and unsuspecting <laughs> and ruined their tiny brains. You're so pretty. <laughs> 
All right. Well, good afternoon, every pony, and uh, welcome to the voice versatility Q and A panel. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Silver Eagle from Ponyville Live. And I'm joined by three excellent guests today. We have uh, three of the finest voice actors in all of voice acting here next to me. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have no Tabitha. pressure. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure at all. But they're absolutely awesome, uh, and we're very happy to have them here. We have uh, Tabitha St. Germain. Hello, dearies. How is everybody out there? <laughs> Uh, uh, T. St. G. Uh, T. St. G. does the uh, voices of uh, Rarity and Luna, among others, among many others. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, up next, we have Andrea Lipman. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> Andrea does the uh, voices of Pinkie 